Bonjour, je m'appelle Paris, elle s'appelle Ben. Not elle? Yeah. Another French dish for you. Bonjour. Hello. Aujourd'hui, nous allons faire cuisiner un plat traditionnel français. Today, we are cooking something traditional from France. Appelé pomme dauphinoise. Something about potatoes. Nearly. And we're going to serve it <laughs> with roast chicken, which is the one we're going to start with. Amazing. So, we're going to rub it in butter, salt and pepper, and then place it onto our baking tray. So if you want to start rubbing, plenty of butter. We're in France. Celebrate la beurre. Plenty of salt and pepper. <laughs> I'm getting into this now. You are getting far off to into Sorry. it. Sorry. And then, onto our roasting tray. And I always like to put just a little bit of water in the bottom of the tray, and it just kind of helps the cooking process, stops it from drying out. Brilliant. So the chicken's going to go into our oven. It's mm -hmm. preheated to 160 degrees Celsius and it needs half an hour head start. Then we can add in our gratin and then we can cook it for a bit longer. But first we can make the cream that's going to surround all the of our layered bit. potatoes in the pomme d'offre So grab yourself some double cream. Mm -hmm. Now traditionally that would just be seasoned with garlic and salt and pepper and herbs. Which is how we're doing it. However, we're going to enrich it with egg yolk and cheese which has been more traditional in recent what? years. So not traditional traditional, but more recent traditional. Of all, of all times, why would you freestyle now, Ben? In sort of East France. Escoffier started putting egg yolks and stuff in there, and I trust the man. So we just need the egg yolks, so we can separate out the whites, which we can save for all sorts of other beautiful Marangs, French dishes. that's French. Marang, yes. What else? Chocolat mousse. Mousse de chocolat. Chocolat mousse. <laughs> Good French, Ben. Mousse au chocolat. What do you want now? Uh, then a knife, we can chop up some herbs. We've gone for chive, thyme and parsley. So if you can chop those up as fine as possible. We'd love to hear what herbs you'd put in it. Controversially, we're not putting any garlic. Stop being controversial. So that's the herbs. They can go into our cream along with the egg yolk. A generous pinch of salt and pepper. Beautiful. And then the cheese. And this is what makes it lovely, golden, bubbly on top. Go for any cheese you want, however, we've chosen... Hard cheese is better, because mm -hmm. we can grate it and it's going to be a better, better end product. We've gone for two. So this is made from a sheep's them. milk, and it's the only sheep's cheese that has that GDP from France, aside from Roquefort. There we go, a generous handful of each. Why, when we do French episodes, Ben, do you come more flamboyant? No, just French. I love, yeah. I love the French language. It's the only language I can speak a little bit of. Whisk the entire thing up, which is why we put it in a jug that's perhaps a little bit too big for the mm -hmm. amount of cream, but it just makes this process a lot easier. So that's our cream mixture, absolutely mm -hmm. delicious. But now onto the start of this dish, the bit that makes pomme dauphinoise. Pomme de terre. Pomme de terre. All we need to do is peel our potatoes and then slice them super, super thin into discs. The thinner the better for this. Use the machine, keeps it really, really fine. This is the fun bit. Perfect. Oh, look at that. They're like chips. They're like game chips. Game chips? Yeah. So these as chips are often called game chips. All we need to do now is take them and basically fan them out around the base of the dish. What does dauphinoise actually mean? Dauphinoise. Dauphinoise? It comes from Dauphiné, the region of. Oh, okay. And therefore it belongs to, like niçoise. It's not salad. a black dolphin. It's not a black dolphin. Generous pinch of salt on our potatoes and then a layer of our cream. Oh, this is so good. And then you go with another layer of potato. Keep layering alternate potato cream, potato cream, potato cream, all the way up until your dish is completely full, and then it'll be ready for the oven. Now, neatness really does count to that final layer. Make sure it's perfect, because you'll see it at the end. One last layer of our cream and cheesy oh. herby mixture. Then we want to cook it quite slowly to start off with, so in the oven alongside the chicken, but with a tin foil lid, right. just to stop it gratinating too much. That will need about half an hour alongside the chicken at 160, which has already had half an hour. Then rank the temperature up to 220, take the tin foil off for the last 10 minutes to crisp up this and our chicken. Amazing. Simple. There we go, smell that. Oh my God, An amazing incredible. family favorite. Served with a bowl of steaming petit pois, roast chicken, and of course our pomme dauphinoise. Sorted. That's a small portion. <laughs> You're going straight in for the main serving. Mm -mm. I wish this was healthy for you, because if it was, I'd eat this every single day. A small portion with loads of fresh veg and a bit of roast chicken. It's not unhealthy. There is nothing better to serve with chicken than dolphin noir. There's plenty here for four, which makes it an awesome family favourite. What we want to know, though, is what do you eat at home with your family? And upload the photos of you eating together to sorted food. That'd be nice, wouldn't it?